Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of The Beasts of the Mesozoic, one six scale scientifically accurate dinosaur figures, the Raptor series. So not too long ago, I actually got a chance to take a look at one of the unpainted versions of these beautiful Beasts of the Mesozoic 1-6 scale Raptors. And now the fully painted figures have begun shipping for everybody that backed these on Kickstarter and the pre-orders are open for anybody that wants to buy them. So we're gonna take a look at three of these beautiful Raptor action figures here today. As you can see, all three of them come in really nice window boxes that do a great job of showcasing the different types of raptors there in the window, along with some beautiful artwork. And on the back side, there's a great list showing all of the different variations of the raptor in this first series, and we even get some very cool facts about the dinosaur inside the packaging. So we're going to take a look at three different ones here today that I've picked up. So we've got the Balar the Linher Raptor and the Velociraptor. That's the guy right here in the front. And hopefully I'm pronouncing the rest of the names right. I'm sure I'm butchering them. But what I know for certain is that these are beautiful action figures. So I'm going to go ahead and move these two guys off to the side just for a bit so we can focus specifically on our Velociraptor here. So they're in the 1 6 scale, which means if I bring in the tape measure, you can see at a kind of this crouching stance here, he's about four and a half to five inches tall. And if we measure head to tail, he's actually about 12 inches in length. These are in the 1 6 scale, uh, which means these guys are going to be about perfect size for your six to seven inch action figures. So standing these alongside those, they would actually be to scale. That's what size the Raptors would be. And the uh, overall sculpting on these is absolutely beautiful. So taking a look at the Velociraptor here. Uh, now, like I mentioned, these are kind of scientifically accurate. So these are based much more on what we now know as reality for the dinos, meaning there are feathers all over these raptors. You can see the feathered arms there. There's feathers all the way in the sculpts. And even the tails are very feathered here. Uh, the paint deco is really nice. And each of these guys has a very unique look to them. Uh, the Velociraptor here has got much more kind of uh, reds and yellows and browns. Uh, the Linher Raptor is one of my favorites because he's so beautiful and so colorful with those blues and the yellows and the awesome markings on his face. But I also really love that Balar who's got the dark feathers, but he's got those really bright blues around his eyes and going down his back. You'll also notice the shape of the feathers on all their tails are slightly different from one another. So these guys definitely stand out. Even though they all use the same type of body mold, there's definite differences there with the lengths of the feathers the shapes of the tails, and of course the paint deco that really makes them all different from one another. So with your Raptors, each of them does come with their own little display base, and the display bases are all slightly different from one another, and you'll notice they've got this great little translucent arm on there that's ball jointed so you can move it around, and there are two little attachments that you can use. One of them is a little clip that you can see I've just clipped right to the underside of the dyno with its own little ball joint there that connects. Or if you want a looser one, you've got these more open ones as well. These will actually just kind of sit up under the tummy. It doesn't clip onto the Raptor as tight, but it's good for different types of poses. So you can interchange those however you need to to display them on the base. And as far as displaying them goes, well, the articulation is key. And there's some really great movement in these guys. So check this out. The head is ball jointed at the neck in two places, both up here at the base of the head, as well as at the base of the neck itself. You can also open and close the jaws on these guys for some really great open mouth poses. I also love how glossy the tongue looks. You can see the teeth. It's just a really, really great look. It really continues the overall beautiful sculpt. So the arms are also on those ball-like hinges there at the shoulders. They can move forwards, backwards, and outwards. You can bend the elbow. You can also move the hands separately. So taking a look at the underside here, you can see the separate uh, movement there, how all those joints kind of articulate together. So you can pose the arms around. You do have a joint at the waist that allows you to kind of roll the body around there. 
Uh, the legs have the ability to kind of hinge outwards because they're on these ball joints. They can slightly move outwards. They can move forwards and backwards. You do have a nice joint at the knee as well as the double joint down here at the lower portion of the leg. And then the ankles move and the toes articulate separately. You've got the big talon toe that moves and then you've also got the two toes, the smaller toes, which can swivel in unison. Now, another thing to point out with these is that they do come with interchangeable toes. So you do come with these kind of flatter toes, but you can easily pop these off of a peg just like this. And if I wanted to, I could pop on this other set of toes, which are kind of up more like on the tippy toes. So if you want to get some different poses with his feet at different like angles, that's what changing the toes out is good for. So that brings us back to the tail. You can see it's nice and jointed on the tail so we can swivel the back of the tail around like this. And then we've also got a ball joint here so we can rotate the rest of the tail around. And this is done in a bendy material so we can also bend and flex the tail around. So there's a great amount of posing options here. And I will say that these guys feel nice and solid. All the joints are really tight here. Um, standing them up is a bit tricky without using the stand. So I will say that you'll have to kind of mess around with it to find the weight because the toes uh, do seem to be a little loose and they don't stand too good. But when you put them on these stands, they are perfect. And you can really get some great poses otherwise because the rest of the joints all seem nice and tight. And one of the things that's really cool about this display base is you can get them in some running poses or maybe even some kind of lashing forward poses. It's really cool finding all the different ways you can mix and match these up and get them to pose around. All right, so since I've been looking at a lot of Jurassic World dinos lately, it feels necessary to do this. It's comparison time. Here is the new beast of the Mesozoic Velociraptor standing alongside two new Jurassic World figures from Mattel. We've got the large Indoraptor there in the back, and we've got this smaller Velociraptor in the front. This just kind of shows you how he scales with those figures and how he looks uh, sculpt-wise as well. And since I mentioned the scale and him pairing up with other action figures, here's what our Raptors look like alongside a slew of different types of action figures. Uh, we've got like the seven inch Masters of the Universe classics or Mythic Legions figures, six inch Marvel Legends, uh, five inch Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, just to kind of give you an idea of what all of these figures might look like posed with these dinosaurs. They definitely fit in the best with those six and seven inch action figures as they seem to be the appropriate scale, but hey, who says you can't have fun with your five inch figures as well? Spider blue, spider blue, he's so blue, 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 blue. So there you guys go. There is a look at the new beasts of the Mesozoic 1-6 scale Raptor series action figures. I absolutely love these. I backed this Kickstarter immediately when it was out because I thought it was so cool to get some really nicely detailed and articulated dinosaurs that would fit in with my 6-inch figures. And these things just turned out tremendous. I love them. Like I said, there's a pre-order going on right now so you can pre-order these guys and there's lots of different designs to choose from. I only looked at three of them here today, so I'll put a link in the video description if you want to check these out for yourself. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. Until next time.